students will do projectile motion so what is a projectile projectile is an object that is in flight after being thrown or projected as a projectile it's an object in air you can see this figure the object is projected with velocity v not so not means when time t equals to 0 so now the components of this initial velocity v not is v not y and v not x and this angle theta not so the side opposite to theta not we can write it as hypotenuse cos theta so this can be written as v not cos theta not and this side v not x can be written as v not sin theta not so these are the components of the initial velocity in its x direction and y direction so it means that this projectile motion we can consider it as two separate motions in x direction so this is the mo so motion in x direction so projectile motion can be considered as motion in x direction and motion in y direction which is a vertical motion so this vertical motion can be like an object in free fall so this motion can be considered as object in free fall so it is, it is something like that this is a motion in x direction now what are the prominent variables that we need to know first is fx so what is fx here in the x direction so first is uh, force force acting in the x direction so fx there is no force acting in the x direction horizontally so this is horizontal motion but there is a vertical downward force fx and as we know that f is equals to mg but the downward direction we are taking as negative and upward direction as positive so this g will be so so here so this force acting in the downward direction so downward direction we have taken as negative so this minus g so f into so m into minus g is the force acting in the y direction now next thing is that due to force we have acceleration so what is ax equals to so if the force is zero of course f is equals to ma so acceleration will be acceleration is zero and what is acceleration in y direction this is it minus g now the next thing that we need to know is what is the initial velocity and the final velocity so we have initial velocity v naught so what are its component in x direction its component in x direction is vx naught which is equals to v naught sin theta naught this is v naught so we know that this is so sin is opposite upon a hypotenuse and opposite side is hypotenuse sin theta so this is the opposite side so opposite side i have mistakenly written it over here this is v naught um, so opposite side is hypotenuse sin theta and this adjacent side is hypotenuse cos theta so this is the opposite side to this angle theta so this is v naught y is equals to v naught which is a hypotenuse and sin theta naught and this v naught x equals to v naught which is the hypotenuse cos theta naught so this is the adjacent side so please correct it 
so v not x is equals to v not cos theta not and so this is the initial velocity you can also write it as u x and this is u y is equals to v not y and so not is always for t is equals to zero so similarly for theta here, theta not so this is v not sine theta not so this is about the initial velocity and what about final velocity so final velocity is v at time t so this was at time t is equals to zero so v at time t we know the formula that v is equals to u plus a t so if we look at this this formula so this was initial velocity now final velocity v x equals to u plus a t so what is u x so u x is equals to v naught cos theta naught so this is u now what is a a x is 0 so 0 into t will be 0 so this thing will this term will be vanished now what is vy vy equals to u plus at what is u uy uy is v naught sine theta naught plus at what is a ay ay is minus g so it's minus g into t so this is the velocity at any time t okay what else we are left with the suppose the object it is at any point p so what are the coordinates of this point let the coordinates be x y so as we know that the displacement s is equals to u t plus half a t square so its component uh, at a particular so 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 this these coordinates are 0 0 and it has reached x y in time t so displacement in horizontal action will be given by this is x equal to x is equals to u into t so this is u this is u v naught cos theta naught into t so you can see that initial velocity and final velocity is same why because this acceleration is uh, 0 so acceleration is 0 that is why initial and final velocity is same so you can say constant velocity so constant velocity because acceleration is uh, 0 so now what about here displacement in y direction so it is just like free fall motion so y equals to ut what is uy uy is equals to v naught sin theta naught so this is v naught sin theta naught plus half a t square so this is a, a, a x is equals to minus g so let me write it as minus g so a equals to minus g and t square so half g t square so this is for the displacements in x and y direction horizontally and vertically are now what do I want to find I want to find out these variables height maximum height and time for the maximum height means I want to find out h maximum and time for it time maximum next thing is I want to find out this range this range this is the range r and this is the time of the flight also so I'm interested in these four variables that I want to find out so how what are the things change when the object reach at maximum height we can see that when an object reaches maximum height in vertical direction it is going up and then coming down so at the top vertical velocity is zero so v y equals to zero so t so using this equation v y is equals to zero we'll get so v y is equals to zero is equals to means this is the maximum height so this is equals to v naught sine 
theta naught minus these are all constants g is also constant the only variable is t and that will be t for the maximum height so i will write it as t maximum so this will gives me go, uh, taking this to the other side so gtm is equals to v naught sin theta naught and this will be t maximum max time maximum for the flight is v naught sin theta naught upon g so this is the first formula that i have derived time for the maximum height now what is the second formula so if i put this time here in this y coordinate so i will get the maximum height so from this y so y equals to height maximum and is equals to v naught is constant sin theta naught is also constant minus half g is also constant what but what is the uh, time to reach this height so the time is so when the velocity v y is zero this time v naught sin theta naught upon g so that's the point now okay so here we have forgotten one thing students that s is equal to ut so t will come here and t will also come here so, so this thing what is so this and what is the value of t so t is v naught sin theta naught upon g so time for the maximum height time taken to reach the maximum height in the vertical motion this is this time so we are taking it and this comes out to be so y is equals to v naught sin theta naught into t so the t maximum and then here minus g t this value minus half g and again the value of t maximum v naught sin theta naught upon g whole square and this comes out to be height maximum is equals to students look here this is v naught square sin square theta and here also v naught square sin square theta and here we have g square and here 1g so 1g cancel out with square and only 1g will left so this is the half so this is the this is just like you can say x minus half x so the answer is half x so this is the case here so the answer is half v naught sin theta naught so v naught v naught square sin square theta naught divided by g isn't it because this is v naught square sin square theta naught and here also v naught sin square so you can take it common also take it common g is also common 1g cancels out and 1g is left and that that thing you can also common out so here one is left so one minus half is half so that's the so this is the time taken to reach maximum height time to reach maximum height and this is your maximum height this is your maximum height during the flight oh what is the third thing that you're going to calculate i'm interested in this r and tf so tf you can see this coordinate was 0 0 and this coordinate is when you're going to hit the ground this coordinate is x and this coordinate is is 0 y y 0 and x you can write it as r so this is r 0 actually this coordinate so use this using this equation and uh, for this i need time so i need to find the time of the flight and the time of the flight is when y equals to 0 so see the coordinate here y equals to 0 so put y equals to 0 here so i will get the time for the flight so put, putting y equals to 0 so y equals to 0 and v naught sin theta naught into t so this time is when y is equals to 0 here this time was tm so time was tm over here 
and here the time is TF time for the flight so this TF this is the time for the flight when y equals to 0 so this is what I am interested in time for the flight so I will write it as TF so this TF time for the maximum flight y equals to 0 minus half g tf square so this comes out to be taking this on that side so half g tf square is equals to v naught sine theta naught into tf so one tf will cancel out and we are left with this tf only so this tf is equals to and this g will come down and 2 will go up so 2 v naught sine theta naught upon this g will come down and this tf 1 tf cancels out so time for the flight is 2 v naught sine theta naught upon g so this is the time of the flight when the object will again touches the ground so this is the time for the flight time of the flight now I am interested in the last thing which is the range so fourth point range so range is this x this is the range so this range x is equals to range and v naught cos theta and what is the time for the flight because this x when t flight when it's again touching the ground so tf is 2v naught sin theta naught upon g so 2 v naught sin theta naught upon g so this comes out to be 2 sin theta cos theta and v naught square so v naught square 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta so sin 2 theta naught upon g so this is my this is my range so I have calculated my range and I'm interested in uh, one more thing when can this be range is maximum so r maximum can be because this is constant v naught square g is also constant and this will be 1 so this will be 1 is the maximum so when so this is the maximum range so but at which theta when sine 2 theta naught equals to 1 it means this equals to sine 90 degree so 2 theta naught is 90 degree it means theta naught is equals to 90 degree by 2 that's equals to 45 degree so range is maximum range is maximum and this is the maximum range this is the maximum range when theta equals to 45 degree now I'm interested in one more thing what is this path what kind of path it is is it a circle is it a parabola what kind of path is it so I'm interested in the equation of the path of the projectile so I'm interested in equation of the path of projectile so T I L E. So, what is the equation of the path of the projectile? So simple. So, whenever we are talking about path, we are talking about x and y coordinates. So, combining the x and y coordinates here, here we can combine x and y coordinates, finding the value of t over here and putting the value of t over there. So, what is t equals to? t equals to x upon. So, this t comes out to be x upon v naught cos theta naught so putting this value of t over here in this equation we'll get y equals to so this y y equals to so put this value t over here so you can see that v naught v naught will cancel out and i am left with uh, sin theta naught upon cos theta naught and that is equals to tan theta naught into x so this was x so putting this value of t over here 
V not V not cancels. I will left with X and sine theta not upon cos theta not is tan theta not. So tan theta not into X. Good. Then minus half G. So G by two. And what is T square? So squaring this. So I will get X square. And so let me write it little bit. So this is g divided by so times squaring it. So this x square. So x square g is there half two is there. So half g and I am squaring this t. So this x square and v not square cos theta not square. So I can write it as. V naught cos theta naught whole square. So this is what uh, my equation of the path is. Now, what does this resembles to? If this is, you can clearly see theta naught is constant. So tan theta naught is constant. So you can write it as constant a minus g is constant, two is constant, v naught is constant, cos theta naught is constant. So this whole is constant. So you can write it as b and x square. So what this equation resembles to y is equals to a x. So I can write it as this negative also as constant, and in standard form I can write it as plus. So y is equals to a x plus b x square, and this is the equation of parabola. So which is equation of parabola? So the path of projectile is parabola. So. Thank you students for watching this video